Rightio, so this is something that I never thought I'd put onto the channel, but what I'm going to go through today's video is how to get a stuck pull-through out of a saxophone. Um, so anyway, look, this has come home from school and that is jammed stuck in there. Um, and for whatever reason, it's also now starting to poke out through one of the keyholes. So I'm assuming someone at school has probably poked something down there to try and push it through. So what I'm going to do is just pull that key off um, and see how that goes. So let's get into it. So I started recording this on a time lapse thinking that that would be, we'd be able to get through it a lot quicker and I'll be able to show you the whole process of pulling the saxophone apart to get this stuck pull through out of the saxophone. But in the end, it was extremely quick and you couldn't really see anything at all. So I've tried to slow it down as much as possible to show you what's actually going on, but it's still a little bit jerky as we go through. So I'll probably cut a lot of the pulling apart phase out of it. And you can see a little bit here um, and focus a little bit more on the putting back together piece, which you'll see all the pieces go back together as well. You'll see me here using some jewelers pliers. So they're just small pliers, but because they're metal, they had the strength to pull that pull through through. So, because it's quite bulked up, or actually it was very bulked up and it's just jammed in there. But what I was doing was pulling it past the open keyhole. Because at the, at the, when I got it, it was that jammed up as coming out of those keyholes because someone would look like pushed down through the top and jammed out through the, the open hole. So um, using the pliers gave it the strength to pull past the keyhole. Then I used, actually that's the, a plastic pull through from a flute to get past those holes and then to the bell. And then it came out, so very happy. Okay, that came out. Maybe not the way that it's intended to come out, but it still, came out. So what had ended up happening, it had got bunched up inside and got caught at the very top near the neck. Um, so now it's just a case of reassembling these keys. So I did actually have to take those keys off to be able to access those holes and end up using, as you saw, some very small pliers. So if you're wondering where I got these tools from, I'm an instrument fitter, instrument fitter by trade. So I'm dealing, used to dealing with very small aircraft instruments. So there's some of the tools that I have from my trade. So the tweezers, the small pliers and that type of stuff. So um, being an instrument fitter, pulling an instrument apart, didn't seem like too much of a challenge, but the challenge will be now putting it back together and making sure it still plays properly. Um, so let's get back into that part. So I've just gone over some of the um, fast video there that I just took before and um, it really doesn't show a great deal so I thought I'd do this in slow-mo so basically what you've got on each of these keys is a little bit of spring steel you also have a screw which is more like a shaft with a thread on the end of it so that's got to go through and it actually ends up going through the middle of the, the key if I can get that to line up, and it should actually then, then thread into this side. So it comes in this side, goes through the key, through the body of the key, and out the other side here. So that, that's sitting in the right spot. But now I just need to wriggle that in. And then get the old driller screwdriver and pretend I can actually see what I'm doing and then screw that in. And you just do that up till it is firm, and of course that's now come off with a screw. And I am actually doing this without looking at it because I've got the camera there, but there we go. Well, you don't need to, you don't need to do this super tight, just so it's done. And that's now working. So this is the first one I put back on, because there's the last one off, and this is the, the second one. So, Next one I want to do is this one. So similar sort of story again. 
you can see just pan back a bit you can see how that goes through there so that acts as a pivot on that shaft there so got this spring steel which puts tension on the, the key and that locks in between those two locating lugs and that goes in there And yes, someone will be able to tell that this has been pulled apart, but that's okay. They won't be able to tell unless they pull it apart themselves. And I pull apart and go, hmm, looks like someone has fiddled with this. And you know what? That'd be right. Someone has fiddled with it because we had a big lump of cloth stuck in it. And now we don't. We have a small pullback because that's a bit blurry. Thank you. Okay, so those, those three done. So the next one is getting this side back done, which was this lovely long one. So you might just need to pan out a bit there, sweetie. Uh, so that goes in there like that, fits onto that one, and comes back into here. So you don't need to get too close. Um, Again, the screw has a bit of a shaft on it, the thread on the end, and I am sort of doing this back to front. Actually, that doesn't, that's just got a pivot pin, so it's actually got a pin, a pointed end on it, um, and it's got thread all the way through, so that'll just slide in. And then I'll be able to screw that little one in. And you'd be right, something is not right here because there's no spring tension on that key, but there should be on these ones. So, I need to pull that off again. What have I missed? I would say I've missed a piece of spring steel somewhere. And if I'm looking at it, it'll be right about there. So this is a piece of spring steel that I need to hook onto that little bit there. That's okay. So bring that up into there. Actually, what I need to do is actually bring that over there like that. Is that working now? Probably will once I get that screw in there, which will be good. going on okay and there we have some tension again which is good and you'll see that should now be flush it's tight you don't need to over tighten it's not like you um go till it's tight and then go you know or you tighten till it's loose and back it off quarter of a turn that is not acceptable practice for those that know how to tighten bolts you'll know what i mean by that um so that's now <laughs> working um, and all these keys are also working up here so we had one two and three and they are sealing on the corks lovely so that was a job that was not expected to do actually ever um, so hope you enjoyed that um, look it was something a little bit out of the normal wouldn't be something I'd call, um, but yeah, maybe it is. It's about being self-reliant, isn't it? It's about be able to fix the things that break. And these are the everyday things that happen in a family. Um, it's not just about um, digging holes and putting trees in the ground. It's also about being able to fix things that come up. So 
to put that in perspective, um, that would have been a two and a half hour drive to the next music shop that sold saxophones. Um, to get a repair on that, then another two and a half hours back. Um, if I and not to mention the cost of paying a technician to pull that apart. But look, that was been done. It didn't take too long to do in the end. Probably what about 15, 20 minutes of real time. Um, I know it's probably a little bit quicker on the video. But look, if you enjoyed that, give it the big thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. So really appreciate all the subscriptions and all the comments below as well. Uh, until next time, I'll see you then.